Welcome back to Super Mario 64. Last time we finished off Hazy Maze Cave along with doing the first star in Dire Dire Docks, but we can't exactly progress through that level until we've beaten Bowser in the basement. Something I may or may not have mentioned about the Bowser levels is that they actually have names, as do all of the secret stars. For example, uh, I did say Princess Peach's secret slide when we did that one the first couple of secret stars we got, but uh, I don't think I said the name of the Bowser level. It is Bowser in the Dark World for the one on the first floor, and this one is Bowser in the Lava World if I recall correctly. I think I could check if I pause. Oh, nope. Bowser in the Fire Sea. I don't know where I got Lava World from. Oh well. Uh, on the topic of name mistakes and that bully is kind of jittering over there um I made some mistakes and I also forgot a couple of names for some enemies the thwomp esque enemies in shifting sandlands where the uh well not where the in the pyramid were called grindles for the you know very thwomp ones and spindles for the ones that rolled out and then the uh, monster, well, quote-unquote monster of Hazy Maze Cave is actually named Dory. Like, you know, in Finding Nemo. Not Plessy. Plessy is the name of the monster in um, Super Mario 3D World. Uh, has a similar function, although Dory looks nothing like the monster in 3D World, except in the DS version where she got a slight redesign. She has like goggles on, kind of like Plessy, and looks a bit more cartoonish. Dory looks very realistic. Well, realistic isn't the right word. Less cartoony is what I should say. On that topic, just to kind of go on this tangent for a little bit. Mario's model, I did have a complaint about it before. And that complaint was that as Mario gets farther away from the screen, he kind of gets more low quality. But uh, even close to the screen, just look at him. He's a bunch of pieces kind of put together. At least that's what he looks like to me. You could see where bits of his model are separated. Like, look at the lines on his legs where his, like, knees should be and right underneath his buttons on his torso. It's... You know, it's N64. I shouldn't be complaining about that. But I need to fill time, so I'm gonna complain about it. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. The reason I said oh, jeez was because I thought there was another red coin in front of the other... Oh no. Oh no. I'll meet you back at that spot. Okay, I'm actually cutting back here because there's a red coin that I missed. This one right here. I actually got to the end of the level and uh, found the last red coin and I was like, wait a second, I missed one. So killed myself and retried. I guess that's something to talk about for a very short amount of time. Uh, after recording the last two episodes, I... Well, it's not that I forgot to save. It's that I didn't create a restore point. I'm playing this on the Wii U, so, you know, I can make those. Not that I've been using them for the Let's Play, you know, within the episodes or anything like that. I'm not doing a very well-edited tool-assisted speedrun or something like that. Anyway, the restore point was from basically two episodes ago, so I had to do the entirety of uh, Shifting Sandlands and, um, whatchamacallit, Hazy Maze Cave. I had to do that all over again. Kinda sucked. But, you know, I'm back. I'm good. And this is actually on a different, uh, well, it's... Far enough for me to not be as salty about it as I was when I was actually 
replaying it. I kind of don't want to talk about it that much because eh, I'll I'll get more into what my reasoning is later. For now, if I could actually grab this red coin and I hope it's the last one. Yep, it is. There's the star of this area. If I could actually get to it. Well, at least I get to enjoy more of Koopa's Road or Bowser's Road. That's something I didn't say. The name of Bowser in like Japan is Koopa. Like that's his name. And the name of Peach in Japan is Toadstool. We saw that at the beginning of the game when Peach wrote her little letter. It said like from Princess Toadstool and then afterwards she said Peach. I don't know why. That's just weird. Anyway, Bowser in the Fire Sea boss. Very different from the uh, original Dark World boss. First off, he turns around a lot faster, so it's not as easy to get to his tail, but if you make your turn sharp enough, you actually can get to it. I think, like, the uh, official guide for this game, which I actually did have at some point, I'm not exactly sure where it is, but uh, it said that, you know, you can't actually get around to Bowser this time you have to wait for him to do attacks and stuff and this attack is very annoying every time he falls off the edge he will perform that big stomping attack or you know he also did it as soon as the battle started and when he does it the whole entire arena will shift around and you're basically gonna slide to your death if you end up falling to the edge so uh Stay far away from Bowser after you throw him if you mess up, which I tend to do a lot. Like there. I was going at like a mile an hour and I still missed. Anyway. Other attacks include... Well, it's not really an attack, but... As you might have seen, he can teleport now for some reason. I'm not exactly sure where he got that ability from, but he has it, so... Whatever. He can still spew fire, and doing so will sometimes drop coins. Although, I was playing this fight pretty recently. It didn't really drop coins for me that much. For some reason, I just can't throw Bowser right. I suck at this. And it's odd because I'm pretty good at rhythm games. At least I like to think that I am. And this is pretty much a rhythm game without prompts. I guess I need the prompts in order to actually play them. Like, look! I was so close to that bomb and I didn't hit him. I guess it's just something you have to get used to. I don't think I had this problem when I was playing the DS version either. Though, well, the DS version is kind of different. For one thing, the whole using a control pad instead of a control stick. Finally, got him into that bomb. And we've beaten Bowser for the second time. We can actually get to the last floor of uh, Peach's Castle. I forgot what the place was called for a second there. But of course, we're not actually going to do that in this part because we have Dire Dire Docks to go through. Now that Bowser is gone from this section, his submarine is also gone, so we can explore more of this place. And because we have the Metal Cap and Vanish Cap, we don't really have to deal with, um... What was I gonna say? Oh, backtracking! That's what I was gonna say. We don't really have to deal with that anymore, because we can just... Do things immediately. Sorry for the pause there. I'm kind of trying to concentrate on uh, getting in between these manta rays. This manta rays of rings, excuse me. I don't think this is the actual mission that I'm supposed to do, but it's the one I'm doing. The goal is to get through five of the manta rays of rings, and you have to be in the center when you do it. You can't touch the outer edges of the ring. The rings also restore your. Uh, I was gonna say health. It's pretty much the same thing. Breath. It restores your breath. So, traveling through them isn't really very dangerous. That was the fifth star. Probably should have done the 
actual one, but that's the one I immediately saw, so I just went for it. The actual one we're supposed to do is touching these chests. And this might be the first one. I'm not exactly sure. And again, I don't really like this kind of one because it's trial and error. And most of the time I end up making a mistake with these. Although the other ones I did it on the first try, or at least I recall doing it on the first try. And of course, I die when trying to go for that chest. There's a kind of sucky thing. You get knocked all the way back to like in front of where Dire Dire Docks used to be rather than where it actually is now. I guess. Well, I, I can't really think up a reason for them to do it that way. I don't really need to. It's not that difficult to get to it from where you're spawned. It's not even really a chore. You don't even have to jump for it. This one has to be first. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. Okay. And now we can just continue moving in a counterclockwise fashion until we get all the chest opened. At least I hope it's all counterclockwise. And again, we get to listen to the great music in Dire Dire Docks. Well, I think the track is called Dire Dire Docks, but uh, the actual song, we've heard it in Jolly Roger Bay before. And I think it was a bit different in Jolly Roger Bay, because uh, when I was replaying the stages, or courses, I gotta get that right. When I was replaying the courses, um, I think I did mention this before, the music changes when you're underwater and when you're above water. And for Jolly Roger Bay, when I started it out, it was essentially the same song as what we're hearing right now. Very basic. As soon as I stepped underwater, it added like the whole violin part. And then when I stepped out of the water, it actually got the uh, drum bits along with the violin piece. At least I think those are violins and drums. I'm not sure if uh, 64 has sequenced music. I think that's what it's called rather than CD quality music. It probably doesn't have CD quality music because 64 was on a cartridge. So, you know, it doesn't work that way. I say this with my limited knowledge of how the game works. And we're actually hearing the violin ish bits so maybe I was completely wrong with Bowser's sub gone this area over here is opened you do not want to go into that area while exploring this stage because doing so will actually get you back outside in the courtyard where the uh, little beach area is I guess we could call it and we don't exactly want to get there yet well we don't want to get there at all that kind of forces us a long way back. We need to head all the way down to the basement and through the Bowser door and such. And that's just a bit of a chore. With that star, you know, opened up, we need to use the metal cap in order to get down to it. And there's both a metal cap and a vanish cap here. Perhaps we will have to use some combination of the two caps. Actually, we definitely will. For some reason, you just phase through this coral. I guess that's what it is. You don't need the vanish cap to go through it, but you do need the vanish cap to get through the great type things, which is exactly what we're going to be doing for the next star. I think, well, I was pressing the A button a bunch, so I didn't actually read that, but I'm pretty sure that's actually not the star we're supposed to be getting. And I'm correct. We need to do the red coin star, but I don't feel like doing that right now because red coin stars are kind of annoying, you know. Oh, this is something I wanted to say earlier, kind of a bit spoilery for this game. But uh, when you collect secret stars, 
They're apparently supposed to be stars that Bowser doesn't know about. And on my first playthrough, well not my first playthrough, but um, the first time I 100%ed this game on my Wii U, I got 119 stars, which is one away from the total, because I thought like, oh, the last star in the game would be given to you like as you beat Bowser or something like that. And that was not the case. There was 119 stars in my inventory with one secret star missing. And that secret star was one that you had to like talk to a toad to get. Which is kind of silly because technically that's not a star Bowser has in two ways. First off, the plaque near Princess Peach's secret slide tells you that the secret stars are stars that Bowser doesn't know about. So uh, him at the end saying, oh, you don't have all the stars, we still have some of them, you haven't won yet, blah ha ha. It's kind of weird because he shouldn't know that there's, you know, more than 119 stars. And it's one given to me by a toad, like, that should already be in my inventory. Toad's on my side, at least I'm pretty sure Toad's on my side. I probably should be collecting other coins, doing the 100 coin mission alongside this one, but I'm feeling kind of lazy. I'll leave that stuff to my future self. I'll just get the 8 red coins. They are kind of more tedious than usual in this level because they're all up in the air. Well, not really in the air, but they're near these uh, poles that you have to jump across. And you can't access this star without having beaten Bowser, at least in this area. Like a lot of the other ones, the ones that you had to collect the caps to do, like the metal cap one and the, um, whatchamacallit, the metal and vanish cap one. You could get with these sub still there, probably. And the manta ray and uh, chest one, you could also probably get. This one, you definitely need the submarine to be gone. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case. I, You know what? I'm not going to focus on the blue coins. That's just going to lead me to uh, falling to my doom. Well, not to my doom because there's water below, but falling and wasting time. Which... Nobody wants to do, unless you actually do want to do that, then I am sorry for assuming so. I kind of wonder if uh, I was able to get up here somehow with the vanish cap on, if I could kind of long jump to one of those poles over there by going through this graded stuff. That'd be pretty neat, but uh, I am not of the skill level to get to this point with the vanish cap nor do I think you even can because these poles take so dang long to uh, move from place to place and I've run out of commentary oh hopefully I can grab that one neat well that's pretty good they'll let you grab it off of a long jump usually long jumps aren't very good for uh grabbing onto things like if you long jump at a ledge then mario will most likely bump its head on it or bump his head on it i don't want to objectify our favorite red plumber here there we oh no oh my god i did it i pressed b to jump yeah i i've been uh playing super mario rpg a little bit it's actually my first time playing it and the B button is the jump button for that and just now I pressed B to try and jump to that other pole that is something I tend to do um, I thought I got over it a couple years ago but apparently it's haunting me once again I've you know what I'm trying to figure out how to say it I pressed B again just there. I got used to one playstyle, so I can't really get into another. Like, I was playing Smash Bros. earlier as well, 
and I was pressing A to jump while playing as like Cloud. Like that's wrong on multiple levels. Previously that was a pretty big problem for me because I used to own really only Nintendo consoles and well I probably should have pressed the crouch button just there. But uh, back on this tangential topic, I used to only own Nintendo consoles and that meant A was always jump for me and now I can't seem to make that jump. But my uncle got a Xbox 360 along with, you know, other consoles and the jump button on those would be the bottom button where B is on most Nintendo consoles. So I kind of had to adjust to pressing the B button to jump. And eventually I did get used to it, like using an Xbox 360 controller or a PlayStation 3 controller became kind of second and third nature to me when it came to, you know, them being later controllers in my life. Probably because I was kind of young, like I hadn't, uh, I hadn't gotten past the stage where getting used to things was difficult, I guess. Kind of like how when you're young, you can learn multiple languages pretty easily, but when you're older, it kind of takes a bit for you to do so. It was kind of like that, but with controllers and probably at an older age. That was a pretty good tangent to uh, take up this time. So now I have to do the 100 coin mission. At least I'm pretty sure that I have to. Thank you past me for being lazy. The song choice for this episode is Aquarium Park from Sonic Colors, Act 1 specifically. Mostly because uh, it starts off a bit more upbeat than the other songs and, you know, speeding things up doesn't really take that long. So I wanted to start off strong with the song and uh, yeah, it's a Sonic song and last episode we also had a Sonic song. But this is a modern Sonic song and last was a classic Sonic song. So it's different enough for me to justify in my own head having the same song twice. I mean, not the same song, the same series, twice. As for collecting the coins in this mission, you're going to find about half of them in the water and half of them above the water. It's actually pretty tight when it comes to collecting the 100 coins. I found that you only have 101 coins in all in this level. At least that's all I found and I can't really think of any more, so uh... You know, one coin for your margin of error, or whatever you want to call it. As for the most difficult coins to collect, probably the ones at the very beginning near the current that sucks you in. It's kind of annoying have to, having to fight against the current there. And there was a set of five near the current that opens up when a Bowser's sub is gone. That one is a bit more heart-wrenching when you actually fail and get swept up by the current because, again, you'll be sent back away to uh, the beginning of Peach's Castle, which really, really sucks. A little off-topic, this song kind of reminds me of Splatoon. You could probably figure out why if you've listened to Splatoon music. Also, I picked the first star for the stage, Bowser's Sub or whatever. But the sub doesn't reappear after you beat Bowser. And there's the last star of this area and somehow we just get immediately warped to the bottom of this area and warped back to the top. I think it's actually pretty convenient that this thing is here now because we could just take it back out of Peach's castle. And the reason this is so lucrative is because, well, the outside of Peach's castle means, you know, we get to the front door of Peach's Castle and the door to access the top floor is nowhere near the basement. That was just kind of a screwy sentence there. Anyway, we've gotten all of these stars in the basement and on the first floor. So 
all we have to do is get the last set of stars in the top floor, which we will do next time. Well, not not all of them next time. I mean, we'll, we'll start off next time. 